Hi, this is Todd with Esoteric Car Care. Today we're going to be taking a look at Sonex Upholstery and Carpet Cleaner. Sonex Upholstery and Carpet Cleaner. It's been around uh, in their product line for quite some time. Uh, reason being, it works uh, quite well. They haven't had a need to do any kind of uh, updates on it. And for those of you who are looking for a good, safe product to use for cleaning upholstery, when I say upholstery, it might be textile seats, uh, carpets, floor mats, uh, things of that nature. It's a fantastic uh, option for it. Typically speaking, you're gonna get you know, some little stains uh, here and there uh, in the carpet, and you want something uh, to get that out. It's gonna be easy to use, and you're not gonna have to go through uh, a lot of steps with it. And that's what you're gonna get uh, out of the Sonax product. And uh, what I'm gonna talk about is kind of the process of it, and then a little bit later on in the video, I'm gonna uh, uh, share a little bit of a professional uh, tip in it uh, for you, how to get the most out of it. With this, what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna thoroughly vacuum uh, the surface. So whether it's the seats, the floor mats, the carpet, or whatever, vacuum that to get as much of the debris out of it uh, as you possibly can. If you've got something heavier spilled on it, you know, use, uh, use a you know, brush to, uh, to go and try to work that out, revacuum it. Uh, then you're gonna take it, it's a foaming action uh, when it sprays, and you're gonna foam it right onto the area that, uh, that you're working with. And from there, you got a couple different ways you can go with it. You can use like the, the Sonax uh, leather uh, and textile brush, uh, or you can use a high quality uh, microfiber uh, towel that's dampened, and you're gonna thoroughly work that uh, into the surface. Then you wanna take a secondary uh, towel uh, that, that's, uh, that's wet, and you wring it out uh, regularly, and you're gonna try to remove as much of uh, the debris and stuff off the surface as you possibly can. And in most cases, that's gonna do the job. If you've got a heavier stain, you might need to hit it uh, a couple of times uh, to get all that out of there. But you wanna make sure that you're not completely drenching the surface uh, in the cleaner. You know, you've had uh, um, carpets cleaned at home or you've done spot cleaning at home on your carpet and you know that if you get too much uh, uh, soap or cleaning solution on there, it's just gonna come back as a even bigger stain afterwards after all the dirt and stuff uh, collects on top of it. So make sure you're not using too much product and you do it uh, evenly. Likewise, if you're working on like a um, textile seat in particular, don't just work one little stain area uh, because that's gonna leave a ring in that area that you're working in. You wanna clean the entire surface uh, so that everything is as even uh, as possible. And whether it's the seat or floor mats or carpets, make sure it completely dries before you get back uh, into the vehicle because as it's wet, it's just gonna be more susceptible to, uh, to more staining. So let it uh, completely air dry uh, before you get back in and use it again. And uh, one of the tips that we have as professionals, particularly when working on floor mats, floor mats take uh, uh, an absolute beating. And you can vacuum and vacuum and vacuum to try to get everything out of it, but there's still gonna be stuff left. So if you've got access to compressed air, you know, we recommend vacuum it, then hit it with compressed air, and that's gonna get uh, um, that much more of the dirt and sediment out of it, and then go back and vacuum it again. Uh, and then that way you've got a really good base before you go into your cleaner. Uh, another nice way to use this is if you get any kind of stains or dirt in headliners, uh, this works well for cleaning those surfaces uh, at the same time. Just use the same kind of techniques that you use on, uh, on any other area of the car that you're working on. Don't just take my word on it. Uh, go to our website, esotericcarcare.com, take a look at the product page uh, for it, and take a look at some of the reviews that other people have left behind. And if you've got any experience or tips that you'd like to leave uh, for others, we appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to fill out uh, the review form on there. And uh, we also appreciate if you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're constantly updating new videos on detailing and car care uh, products, tools, and techniques. And finally, uh, we like it when you share our uh, videos on your favorite uh, automotive forums, detailing blogs, and uh, social media uh, at the same time. That's about all for today for Sonax and for EsotericCarCare.com. I'm Todd Cooperider. Thanks. We'll see you again next time. <music>